Hi everyone, welcome back to FS22. Overnight, we got our first snowfall of the year. It's six and a half inches of fluffy snow. The guys and myself are going to be heading out plowing all day long. We have uh, some commercial parking lots and some residential driveways that need to be cleared. Today, I'm going to be using my work truck here. It's a 2023 Ford F-350 Crew Cab with a Boss V Plow up front here. This is 11 foot with the wings. This is going to move a lot of snow here for us. In the, in the bed of the truck, we do have a snow blower for a few residentials where we also have to clear out the walkways here. But I just filled up with diesel, just grabbed a cup of coffee from Casey's. I'm all ready to go here. It's just before 7 a.m., so we have a lot of work. We need to get done, so let's get right to plowing. Like always, guys, if you end up enjoying today's video, help me out by hitting the like button, and there's a full mods list link down below. I'm super excited to be snow plowing here in FS22. I've been waiting quite a long time for it, and we definitely are going to have our hands full here today. So we have a few driveways in this subdivision, but we do need to make our way over to uh, Duncan's because they need uh, to get open so that they can uh, serve coffee to all the plows truck drivers because, hey, we do drink a lot of coffee with not much sleep uh, having to plow all this snow, but uh, we'll get over there here shortly. Having a V-plow, guys, is super helpful here. We are able to really maneuver the snow where we need to put it here to keep the driveways cleared and uh, to make it even more efficient here. But you guys can see, I mean, this V-plow, one or two passes is all you really need on some of these driveways. Let me know down below in the comments, guys, if you do end up getting snow where you live. And if you do, is it a lot of snow here? I really do enjoy snow. Hopefully, I do get some here shortly. Maybe I just might do like a real life snow blown video like I have done in the past because those are kind of fun. It's always uh, good to get behind uh, the snow blower and move a lot of snow here. But this is going to be the last driveway in the subdivision. Yeah, and we have one more just outside it, and that one, we're going to have to do some snow blowing, so let's go get that one cleared. With the driveway plowed out here, let's get this walkway all ready to go here. Then after this one, guys, we're going to be heading over to a Dunks to get that all cleared on out here. But the snowblower, guys, this is a little bit bigger. This snowblower moves a lot, a lot to snow. You guys can see awesome. So we got this walkway done, and we have a little bit in front of the garage here. This is an older a uh, couple that lives at the property so we want to make sure this is all cleared for them so uh, they could easily go up and down the stairs get access to their uh, garage and uh, and all that here so one or two more passes but you guys can see wow this works perfectly here to move all the snow we'll go a little bit further out there awesome we'll get this back up on the truck and we'll get back uh, to plowing some parking lots Having a diesel is the way to go for snow plowing. You have that extra torque you need, that extra power. And for snow plowing, I think that is definitely uh, really helpful here. But hopefully we could get some more snow here. There is some other machines and things I would like to use. And uh, some of the other crews are using that here. I mean, we have so many parking lots and things that have to get cleared here. So it is always, it's always a busy day here for us. But we're here at Dunkin' Donuts here. We are going to get right to plow now. Some of these parking lots we do have marked out with uh, the plow markers, which is super helpful. Now, sometimes uh, it is tricky with all the traffic, things like that here. But luckily, I think we're uh, just right after kind of the morning. Uh, everyone's heading out for a snow plow. And so maybe in an hour or two, this place is going to get super, super busy. 
and I hope everyone has been having a pretty good day here so far. Let me know how your day is going down below here. I'm just excited to be back here making some farm sim videos. Every Friday my goal is to have a farming simulator video for all of you guys here. I do have a different schedule, uh, but I I always look forward to making these videos here. It is a lot of fun uh, to play farm sim and to share it with all of you guys here on YouTube. And like I mentioned earlier guys, having a V plow, uh, having one with big wings like this is super helpful here. I mean, just look at all the snow. We are moving no problem. And that is super helpful for us. That means we're more efficient and we uh, could get a lot more plowed in a shorter amount of time. With Dunkin Donuts guys, we need to make sure the drive through is always open here. So we'll have to come by here a few extra times, which is no problem here. I think one of the other guys is going to be on this side of town a little bit later on here. But that is something I always try to do with my snow accounts is making sure that instead of driving uh, on opposite sides of town, that all the driveways are within the same neighborhoods here. It saves me a lot of time. And that way also, uh, we are plowing uh, snow instead of just driving with the plows on the truck here. Doing a little bit of scoop action here, but the snow just went right up and over. No problem here. But big, big shout out goes out to Machine Modding over on Facebook for releasing this uh, snow plow. This thing is sweet. We are definitely uh, putting it through its paces today in the snowfall. Sometimes we get heavy wet snow, other times we get fluffy snow just like this. And I always do prefer this to snow plow. It's just a lot easier on the trucks. It's a lot easier to just kind of move and uh, uh, stack into piles, which is a little bit easier, you guys can see. Trying to be pretty strategic on where we put the piles. You don't want piles all over the parking lot, only would really want one or two. And uh, that way we also don't lose any parking spots since the businesses usually uh, need them for their customers. And we should be all set here. So off to do a few more driveways here and then I'm going to be stopping for lunch. I've already been at this here for a few hours but you guys can see this parking lot just one pickup truck. I uh, did this uh, no problem here which is really really good. Uh, that uh, helps us on out here and like I mentioned we have so many crews out right now with the skid sears and with all the other work trucks. All right, we're here in this uh, subdivision. This is a little bit of a smaller subdivision for driveways, uh, but we have a pretty big property on the end here that we are uh, heading on over to, and uh, we have a few other driveways in here, but it looks like the town is out already cleared some of these, which is great in our first driveways right here. Let me know down below in the comments, guys, what would you be your ideal plow truck here? I think for me, mine would be maybe a F-250, 2500 diesel, and I think I would prefer a V-plow here. They're just so versatile, so handy, and we are just able to move a lot of snow with it. And just like that, once again, it's like three, four passes. The entire driveway gets plowed out. Uh, no problem, which is pretty neat here. But let's go do that big driveway. And then I'm going to stop here to check my uh, phone here. Looks like I have a few crews texting me. Here it is, guys. This is one of our bigger residential driveways here. It is super tricky, I will have to say, with it being kind of a roundabout driveway here. So this is actually perfect for the V-plow uh, because I'm just going to keep it in V mode here. And we are just going to drive around the driveway here, checking the plow markers, things like that here. But look at that. The V-plow is perfect for this parking uh, 
uh, spot here in this driveway here. Definitely, like I mentioned, you park in uh, driveway is a little bit on the bigger side here. Wow, look at that. That's sweet. All we have left to do is just right in front of the uh, two garage doors here. Well, guys, there we have it. It's been a busy day so far, but I'm going to stop, uh, eat lunch here really quick, and uh, check a few things on my phone. But until next time, guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for next one, and subscribe for more.